Hi guys, Kelly here. We're going to be relacing a catcher's web today. To start, we're going to identify the three sections in the catcher's web. We have the top spiral section here, crossbar, and then we're going to have the base of the web where you can either lace up with single X's or vertical bars. Let's get right into it. First, we're going to start with the cross section here. These two holes, it's going to run through either side of the glove and back to the middle. You can really start on either side. For this video, we're just going to start on the left hand side. Okay, we want the smooth side of the lace to be up facing us. I go straight through this hole here on the left, straight out the side of the web. Okay, we're going to leave three to four inches of excess lace here to tie our knot at the end. Okay, we're now going to enter the glove. You can see where some of the lace is doubled up to run the fingers and the base of the pocket here. We're on the upper portion of this web in the cross section here. We're going to go in between the, the welting here, just above this doubled up lace. We're going to go out to the palm side here in this hole, just like that. This is how we're going to start. Okay. I'm going to pull that straight through. And sometimes as you're doing this catcher's web, you have your excess lace here. I like to do just like a real simple soft box knot here, just so I don't lose that, that end and have, have to go back and redo it. Okay. We got that nice secure there. We're just going to pull it through. We're not going to pull this too tight. We're going to have it get close to meeting the edge there of the index finger of the catcher's glove. Okay. All right. We're going to work our way down. We're going to do a little quarter turn of the lace, just like that. We're going to hop down to this hole just below. Okay. As we go through this hole here, we're going to exit between the binding and welting again. Okay. Send that through. And this lace, you want to make sure it doesn't get twisted. And you'll see the smooth side be presented up in the palm side there. Okay. Now we're going to look at the back finger side of the glove because we're going to go through the middle section of the web here. You'll notice the rough side is facing up. We need to get smooth side facing up. Give it a quarter turn. Okay. Now we're ready to go through. All right. We're going to shoot straight across. Keep that lace flat, smooth side up. Okay. Again, not too tight. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing we just did on the finger side on the thumb side. Okay. We're going to enter in between the two layers of the welting here. We're going to exit that hole right there on that thumb side. Okay. Between the welting and out that side on the palm side. Okay, get it nice and close there, not too tight. Okay, now we're going to work our way up, do a little quarter twist of the lace here. We're going to jump. Just one hole up, and they're going to exit through the welting here, just like that. Okay. Again, displaying that smooth side in the palm. Okay. Another quarter twist of the lace. We're going to run it straight back through to meet our starting point to finish up. Okay. And just bring that web in a little tighter there. You can undo that soft box knot 
that was used to anchor the web. Okay. And then you'll cut that excess here to match your tail end. And here I just like to tie a soft double knot just to keep this web in place. We'll just hold that there for now. And now we're gonna work our way to the bottom of the web right here. We're gonna do vertical bars pattern here. Okay. Use that same lace if you had a six foot strand. You'll notice two holes on the thumb side here. We're gonna use that to enter through the web, work our pattern and come out. So to start, we're gonna go through the bottom hole. We're gonna go underneath these two laces here that meet the web and enter into that bottom portion of the web. So you can see where I'm running the needle here, thumb side into the web, so you know where that needle's traveling. So we're gonna enter the base of that web here and come out the first hole, just like that. Okay, and as we're going through here, we wanna make sure our smooth side is up. Okay, pull it through. Again, three to four inches of excess to tie our knot at the end. Okay, once we've, once we've entered the bottom, we're now gonna work our way up to create our vertical bars pattern, just like that. We'll go through this first hole here and exit hole two. back down. We're going to do an up and down pattern all the way to the, th uh, the finger side here. Okay, and you want to, you don't want to pull these too tight. You just want these two pieces of leather here to kind of meet in the middle somewhere. Okay, give it a quarter twist, work our way back up and onto the next hole, just like that. Another quarter twist, work our way down. Okay, now that we're on the last hole, we're gonna exit the web and into the glove side here. So we're gonna do that the same way we entered. So through here, through this last hole, we're gonna go underneath these two holes, or these two laces here, and we're gonna exit this bottom hole here. So that's where your needle should run to exit the first row of vertical bars there in the web. Pull that to get your appropriate tension in the web. Okay, now that we've exited here, we're gonna re-enter. We're gonna jump up to that next hole there. We are now gonna exit in between where the lace doubles up on the palm side there. So right in between those two laces there. Okay, again, we want the smooth side to be showing up on this hole jump right here, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna re-enter the web and we're just gonna repeat this vertical bars pattern. just want that lace to lay right on top of that first one you made. So 
All right, so we're going to head toward this last hole here. Send it through. Just finishing up that vertical bars pattern here. Adjust your lace if it gets twisted. Again, we want that smooth side facing up. Okay. Last hole here with the last bar, we're going to go through and exit the web. And then we're going to go straight through and head toward the thumb there. Okay. So you can see where that needle is running, exiting the web in between those two laces where it doubles up on the palm side and then straight out the top on the thumb side where we will then tie our knot. So just like that. Pull that straight through. You can see here I have a twist. It's all right. Just grab your, your pliers or you can use your hand. Just twist that lace a little bit. Just like that, get it to show the smooth side again. Okay. All right, once you've got those vertical bars done, you've got the tension right here on the thumb side, you'll just cut your excess. You can leave that until we're done with the top of the web to tie all of our knots. All right guys, now that we have the cross section here done, and we've got the vertical bars at the base of the web. Last thing to finish up is going to be the spiral X pattern at the top. Okay. To start, we're going to tie a overhand box knot, just a loop around the finger, straight through that loop and pull. You'll cinch those two ends together, just like that. You should see the smooth side of the lace presenting itself in that knot there. Okay. We're going to start on the finger side of the glove here and we're going to start three holes from this doubled up lace that laces up the fingers. So from here, we're going to one, two, and three. So that's where we're going to start. And we're going to use the rough side of the lace facing up going this direction here. Okay. So one, two, three, we're going to go through here and then we're going to go in between the welting there. As you can see, and then from here, we're going to enter the web. So we'll go straight through. Okay. Again, rough side up. You'll pull that box down all the way to that hole that we just went through. Just like that. All right, next you're going to run the lace through the top portion of the web. Depending on how new or broken in your glove is, this could be a little difficult. All right, guys, now that we pulled it through, I'm going to pull this and keep in mind the tension here that you're creating between that box knot and the start of the web here at the top. We want it to be too tight. We also want it to fit nice and snug in the shape of the glove there. Just like that. Okay. So now we're going to take this, the needle here and take the lace and we're going to go straight in this hole here. That's closest to the thumb stitching. Go in right there. And we're going to go straight out the back here. Okay, again, just matching that tension that we started and created on the finger side. Okay, now this is going to be the start of our uh, spiral X pattern at the top. So we're going to enter this first hole here. Come straight out. After you come out that first hole there, we are going to skip the first two holes here on the palm or pocket side here of the web. We'll skip these first two holes and we're going to go straight through the third. OK. 
Okay. So, but then on the back side, it'll look like we just skipped one, inside, skip two, back side one, inside two. Okay. Now we're going to continue this spiral pattern, but moving forward, we're just going to skip one hole. We're going to follow that pattern all the way to the finger side of the glove here. And we're going through, you can see the pattern there and here it's the same, just skipping one hole each. Okay, now that we've gotten to the finger side of the web here, we will have to go through that last hole here. So there's gonna be no skipping here. Okay, we go through that hole, straight out the side of the web. Okay, now that we've exited the web, we're gonna go through the palm side of the glove, pop out on the back finger, back finger side, and then run that spiral all the way back to the thumb to exit. We're gonna take our needle, and we're gonna go through the hole right here that's closest to that first starting point where we, where we entered. So we'll go straight through here and right out the backside. And we should be exiting right next to the hole where we have our box knot tied, right there. Okay, send that straight through. Make sure your lace doesn't get twisted here. We want the smooth side to be facing the palm there, okay? And as we pull this in, again, make sure we match that tension that we, that we started with and we created. Okay, now we're on the back side. We're gonna re-enter the web from the side here and come out this first hole. Okay. Now we're gonna complete that spiral pattern here. Okay, now that we've made it to the last hole here, we're gonna go straight through and exit the web. When we exit the web, we kinda of wanna split between these two laces here that we already have going through the thumb side of the glove. So inside or through that last hole there, and we're splitting out the side of there between those two laces there. Okay, send it straight through. Okay, now we will enter through the welting again, just like we started. This box knot went straight through between the welting layers there. We're gonna exit the same exact way. We're gonna jump to that first hole right there. Again, match that tension you set up on the other side of the web. And then to finish, we'll tie our box knot. Again, just a loop. Because we're finishing, we want to cinch that loop as close to the leather as possible. When you create that loop, make sure you use a finger to pin down by the web there. Okay, and then you'll send the needle through. Pull that loop nice and tight, just like that. Pull. Cut your excess here as to how long you like your lace. Just need to go back and tighten up our knots. 
we'll start with this cross section one here. We just did a soft knot to begin with. We'll undo this one. Pull it a little bit more snug so it takes the shape a little better here. Okay, and again, smooth side facing us. I'm gonna go left over right. Pull up and down. Have both rough sides facing up here. We're gonna take our bottom lace, go right. I'm sorry, I'm gonna re yeah, that one. No, Stuff can't. on the verbiage on that. Let's adjust this real quick. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go back and tie all of our knots here and finish up the web. We're gonna tie up this cross section here Make sure both smooth sides of the lace are facing you. We're gonna go left over and under the right, just like that. We're gonna pull this lace down, give a quarter turn on this lace here, and pull straight up. You'll have your first knot in this double knot here, showing both smooth sides of the lace, just like that. Okay. Now we're gonna take our bottom lace, we're gonna go over and under that top lace, and now we're gonna pull left and right. We wanna make sure both smooth sides are showing. So we're gonna give this a quarter turn up, pull left and right. And then you'll just cinch up your knot, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, there you have it. Now we'll move to this web thumb side here. Again, both smooth sides facing up, left over, and under the right. Now pull this one down, this one up. Both rough sides facing. And then take the bottom lace over and under top lace. Pull left and right. And just cinch up your knot. Just like that. And this knot should lay nice and flat. All right, guys, there you have it. That's how you relace a catcher's mitt web. If you like videos like this, check out some more on our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.